Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. On the agenda tonight, we're taking a look at Water Trout and this is from Don O'Dell's Legends. The link to this is going to be in the description below as always, so you guys can check out the whole video without being interrupted if you want to, but Water's going to be playing through Brothers Keeper. So let's get him and the guys up on screen and see how they get on. I'm just going to stop it there because we're building up to a face melting solo. Absolutely no doubt of that, the way that the dynamics are changing. But getting into the track, straight away the intro, just that lead intro is so cool and we've got a really minor bass blues here, so not a lot of major scale here at all and so much expression. The thing of course to look out for, I always mention it, the vibrato and especially in the intro we have a really exaggerated vibrato from Walter and he's always in control of his playing but also he's one of those guys that can absolutely let rip and he absolutely absolutely does, which we'll be seeing later, but even in that intro, he is pretty much pushing it to that edge and you get such an expressive sound when Walter is playing like that. And exactly the same when he gets into his vocals, and by the way, what a great voice Walter has too. And having this studio feed means that we get a great sound all round. And actually, the vocal sound is pretty dry. There's not a hell of a lot on there. And the way that Walter affects his tone throughout the performance, and not through switching between loads of different effects pedals, but just rolling off that volume with his little finger. Great example here in the verse where he has that vocal and then has the response from the guitar, but he's rolled off a lot of that volume. So it means that you lose that overdriven sound, that gainy sound. And with that neck pickup as well, really accentuating those lower notes. And 
having control, we'll see later on in the video, the amount of control that he has with that little finger it is so impressive on that volume. And within Walter's playing, you get this mix of really expressive melodic playing with that controlled vibrato and controlled vibrato at the top of bends. Again, go to the intro, just rewind it, have a listen to that first bend that he hits. So much control in there. But then also he sprinkles in quite generously that speed and a lot of technique in there. Some alternate picking, but also a hell of a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs and always keeps his playing really nice and concise. Even though we've got some overdrive on there, it isn't to mask the sound, it's just to embellish the playing that Walter's already got down. Some of the lines that he does throw together, we are based in that minor key, so we've got a lot of minor pentatonic, obviously, and blues, but then also the fact that he throws in some natural minor in there, and the way that he occasionally throws in a tiny bit of jazz, in terms of those little one fret slides, into those shapes, it really does change it up nicely. So he's got so many weapons in his arsenal and so many different lines that he can throw at you, it's always going to be interesting. And considering that this is over 10 minutes, this performance, and obviously I've seen the whole video, it is always interesting throughout the whole performance. And you're watching a great player when that can happen because they've got so many different avenues they can take you down that they're not just going to start repeating lines and after five minutes, They've totally extinguished all the lines they know, so they just start from the beginning again. And Walter's not one of those players. He can just keep throwing out new lines all night because he's just playing on the fly. And this is a good example of a track where it's a free-form blues where he can just start throwing lines together and this could go on for 20 minutes or half an hour or an hour because it is just great blues playing. You just feel your way through it and Walter's one of those guys that absolutely feels it and expresses so well through the guitar because of the techniques that he's got down, but also because of the control. Let's get back into it.
I'm just going to jump in here because that control on that volume, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. And you can't help but be impressed by the light and the shade that Walter throws into his playing, but also just these cards that he shows you, just these aces, like having the ability to pair those downstrokes with that fade in of the volume gives it such a unique sound. It means that it's going to keep your playing interesting the whole time when you've got these different techniques that you can go to. And when you've got mastery of those techniques, it's just going to make your playing so much more interesting. It's a tough one to see and look out for, especially if you don't play guitar, just watching that little finger and the amount of work that he actually gets through controlling that volume to control his tone. But it's so subtle. Also, when he flicked down to the bridge pickup for just a tiny section there and then brought it all back to the neck for this section that we've just seen. There are some guitarists who just take the Strat and absolutely manhandle it. And Walter is one of those that he can really push it to the limit and really melt your face on the strap but then he can make use of all of those really subtle tonal variations that you get with a strap so this is a great example of how to just show different sounds dynamically light and shade within a performance especially a blues progression because sometimes the blues can be one dimensional just purely because of the progression just the fact that it's always going around just the same way so to keep things interesting with a blues is really difficult as a player and Walter absolutely shows you how to do it here all of the technique all of the control but all of the tonal variations that he's putting in there to keep it interesting and Walter's been playing since the 60s and the 70s in terms of getting out there and gigging and he played in John Lee Hooker's band as well and he joined a band called Canned Heat in 1981 and that led to the opportunity to play with John Mayall's Blues Breakers and he did that until 1989. And at this point he set up his own band called the Walter Trout Band and released his debut album in the USA in 1998. Also in 2002 he played on the Bo Diddley tribute album and on that he played Roadrunner. And unfortunately in 2013, Walter did have some trouble with his liver and he was told that he needed a transplant within 90 days. And fortunately, somebody did donate their liver and the transplant was a success and he made a full recovery. So he's now a patron of the British Liver Trust to help raise awareness for that charity and also to raise funds. And in 2016, he won two Blues Music Awards for his track, which is called Gonna Live Again. And then he also won the award for Rock Blues Album of the Year and that was for his album called Battle Scars so he's still out there still making great music still performing thankfully after those events of 2013 unfortunately I'm not going to have time to watch the whole 10 minutes of this video but the link's going to be in the description like I mentioned so you can check it all out there if you want to but thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at and keep those suggestions coming in the comments below let me know what you guys think and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one.